Tad like a day, my name is Mighty Werbel. Welcome back to more Corpse Party. We are slowly making our way to the end game, I believe. Although we've lost someone else, we've lost Miss Yui, who briefly appeared for a, a cup of coffee before once again, well, we assume she fell to her death. Um, we didn't see it happen, but we can only assume that that's what happened. Judging from the way they were talking, that's pretty final for her. So we're going to, oh yeah, and um, I, I'm bad with names. The other two, the, the dynamic duo, went crawling into an uh, 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 incinerator, bumped into Sachiko, who did something unpleasant, or at least sounded unpleasant, so we'll see if, but yeah, we're gonna carry on. I think we're supposed to put, yeah, pedestals. Let's stick the pencils in here and open up the uh, secret hatch in the wall. This isn't gonna, but I'm gonna save just in case, you know. I've learned one thing to save uh, fairly frequently in this place. Ugh. Naomi is here. It's a black mass that attacked me earlier. The sign says infirmary. But whatever's at the end of this hall is nothing like what anywhere we've been before. My... my head. What's wrong with you, Yuka? What are you complaining that now? Big brother, it hurts. Mine, too. Ah, you've both got nosebleeds. You did. If you're gonna act like a hero, you will end up dying. Stop going off on your own! What the hell? Is that a child's face and hands in the window? Oh, singing! There's a posting attached to the door. Sachiko. Cleaning up in the reference room. Please wait here for me until I'm done, Mum. Sachiko. The door's open. Come on in. Blood. Oh my God, it's mine. When did my nose start bleeding? I think I'll be in danger if I stay here too long, but I get the feeling there's something here I need to see. What do you say? Shall we go on the field trip together over summer vacation? Hey, there's going. What's going on? I can't move a muscle. Have I been paralyzed? My dear Sachi, she's my pride and joy. She'd do anything for me. <laughs> Diary? Who's <laughs> I like the fact he gets paralyzed in fear. To go speaks to me, falls over, and his first uh, his first act is to walk over to the diary and complete, completely ignore the ghost. Whose diary? Is it the spirits? Or can he even, wait, can he see the ghost? The book seems quite old, with yellowed pages and frayed edges, but the carefully linked inked letters are still completely legible. What? 7-19-1953. They seem to be dead. It's always a problem when you wake up dead, isn't it? Always a bit of a problem. No, that can't be right. I can't forgive you. I won't forgive you. I'm going to kill you. How dare you harm Sachiko? How dare you harm me? This is bad. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Run away! Satoshi! Naomi, Yuka, stand up. We have to get out of this hall. Now. Big brother! Run! 
Oh, he's doing it himself. Er, you too. All right. Uh -huh. I'm fine. I'm okay too. The headache subsided. It must have been that hallway. What was that place anyway? It was the nurse's office. There was a woman there with a broken neck. And just before I ran out, children started appearing all around her. Ah, Satoshi, is that... Yeah, it's the diary from the desk. I tried going through it earlier, but it was totally frozen in place. I couldn't even turn the pages. Is it... that woman's? Without a doubt, I saw her writing in it. What? There's a name on the back. Yoshi Sinozaki. I'm not sure what we'll learn from it, but I'm willing to bet it's something important. Shall we take a look? 7 1953 I spoke at great length with the children again today. They're so full of life and growing up so fast. The younger students are quiet and respectful too. It's clear their parents love and care for them very much and have taught them very well. But I won't be left behind. I intend to raise Sachiko with just as much love and devotion as any of them. Today is her seventh birthday. We're meeting after school and going out for dinner. I hope she likes the stuffed cat I got her. I had to sort out some documents in the reference room before meeting with Sub with Sachi. While I was working, the principal dropped by. After he and I talked for a bit, he suddenly came up... Oh, God. Why is it with Japanese horrors? They have to have a forced or attempted rape in it for no fucking reason. After he and I talked for a bit, he suddenly came up from, to me from behind. He grabbed me and forced me down, and then began unbuttoning my blouse. He'd always be so kind, lending a sympathetic ear to my problems. But today, he didn't even seem like the same man. His eyes were cold and empty. I was in such a shock, I'm not exactly sure. I'm not even sure exactly what happened to me after that. I slipped away somehow, but he was right behind me. I only made it as far as the landing on the stairs. Just as I turned the corner, I felt him push me. The floor came at me fast, and suddenly, I found myself unable to move. I was slumped across the ground unceremoniously, and I was dead. Buckets of blood spilled out from my head. I'm sure it was hell to clean up later. I also lost control of my bowels, embarrassing to say the least. I was slipping away, but I was pulled back by the sound of a very clear voice. Sachiko saw everything. I guess she'd come to find me. The principal closed in on her. What was he planning to do? I yelled with every ounce of my strength for him to stop, but I was dead. I had no strength. Sachiko tried to run, but she had the stride of a seven-year-old. He caught her easily and then, before my very eyes, he strangled the life out of her. What a cruel man. He rebuttoned my shirt, then took Sachiko to the basement and buried her. He'd probably say my death was an accident and report her as missing. I'm not a bad person. I don't deserve this. There is no redemption for what he's done. 7 20 1953 it's just as i suspected according to the official report i slipped and fell and nothing's been said about it to anyone about sachiko yet the other teachers and students are all mourning me they're so kind i'm in mourning too 7 21 1953 there's a stranger sitting in my chair the new nurse no doubt but no one's come to see her she mustn't be very popular i hate her 7-26-1953 Little by little I'm losing my mind. Bit by bit I'm fading away. A dark will, not my own, has begun infiltrating my being. Make it stop. So she was Sachiko's mum? It's so awful. Yeah, it is. I really feel for her. Wait, though. Isn't anyone else bothered by the dates in these diaries? Entries? Sachiko shouldn't even be there. The kidnappings and murder didn't take place until 1973, remember? Oh, you're right. These are all dated a full 20 years earlier. But what does that mean? What does that mean, see? Get the Detective Inspector clues though, and uh, whatever. We kept reading. The postmortem diary continued to chronicle the school nurses. Yoshi Shinozaki's laments, laments and regrets and detailed her agony. Bound to the sight of her demise, Yoshi eventually exhausted all possible topics, filling the remaining pages with short passages like I'm so alone, so very alone. I want to see Sachiko again. 
I want to see the children again. Oh, Sachiko's been taking children here t so that her mum doesn't feel lonely. I will never forgive him for what he did. I'll kill them all. Among other similarly mournful or angry sentiments. What the... I can't open it past this page. After a certain point, the diary's pages became so blood-soaked that they were all sticking together in a coagulated mess of gloppy paper. Skipping past the bloodied section yielded the very last few entries in the book, all of which were dated around 20 years later. 7-12-1973. Sachi is my pride and joy. She'd do anything for me. She'd even kill lots of people to keep me company. She sends me so many children. I love them all. 7 15 1973. I have to make her stop. This won't make me happy. Sachigo, please stop. 7 16 1973. His family is just as guilty as he is. I'm going to curse his entire line forever. I'll burn some sense right into their brains. 7 17 1973. How did this happen? Sachiko, who died alongside me 20 years ago, has a flesh and blood, blood body once more. She kills children and sends their souls to me. But I don't want that. That won't make me happy. Sachiko, please come see me. Talk with me. July 20th, 1973. Sachiko killed six more. And when they die, it's like every trace of their existence is removed from history. It's spiriting away in the truest sense of the term. But she's not capable of abducting and killing children on her own. She makes that man do the kidnapping for her. Sachiko, please stop. July 23rd, 1973 is my birthday. Well, not 1973 it wasn't. Sachi is no longer killing for my sake. Now she's just killing because she likes it. I don't know when this change happened, but it did. Living beings are such fickle, easily angered creatures. They killed us after all. I can't forgive anyone who kills another human being. I'll kill them all. I'll kill them all for what they've done. I'll show them no mercy. 24th July 1973. Kill more. 25th of July 1973. Kill more. 15th of August 1973. Bring me more. 19, 18th of September, 1973. Thanks to Sachi, I'm no longer alone. She sent me three more adorable little children today. Sachi is my pride and joy. I don't think she even recognises me anymore. But I still love her with all my heart. 18th of November, 1975. The school's been closed down. And the principal jumped off the roof. Serves him right. I think I'll sing with the children. Something fun and happy. What a pitiful way to die. Serves him right. 23rd November 1975. Sachi's been wandering the halls. These empty halls. She kills anyone who enters. People who have heard rumours or are just curious. She and I are both so desperately thirsty. But there's nothing we can do about it. After this, the writing becomes too jumbled to read. God. So Sajiko's been killing children and sending their souls to her mother so she won't get lonely? And I guess eventually it just drove her mad. It seems like deep down even her mum wants her to stop. Uh huh. Yeah. Not sure exactly what we should do next, but if we're going to get through to Sajiko. And it looks like the school principal is the key. If I recall, the principal's office is in the other building. Save! All right. Oh, purple thing. What this? There's a stuffed doll in the shape of a black cat lying in the middle of the floor. Pick it up. Oh, Sachiko's birthday present. Purchased by Yoshi for Sachiko's birthday. Literally coming apart at the seams. Is this how we're going to speak to to get her to come to her senses, or piss her off even more? So I've got to go to the other building, do I? Okay. Let's go to the other building then. What's the worst?
Well, <laughs> there goes the principal. <laughs> uh, what the hell did we just see? He leapt from the roof of the building. So I'm guessing that was the principal of Heavenly Host. Oh God. You can't, don't look. It's just, is it just, yeah. I doubt he can ever find rest after what he did. So he's just reliving his death over and over again. That's horrible. Wait, what's that? Looks like a key. Yeah, but a key to what? I'm gonna go get it. I mean, you say it's horrible, but he was an attempted slash possible rapist and murderer. So, not that awful. Don't, it's too dangerous. I'll be alright. I'll wait for my chance, then rush in and take it. What, in amongst the flying bodies? <laughs> Alright. Got it. What the? Man, it's a lot smaller than it looked from back there. Is it to a desk or something? Principal's key. Okay, you got it. Now get back here, Satoshi. Is he gonna do it one more time? Do a flip. No? Okay. And we're back in here. Save. Okay, so we're off to the principal's office. Hey, Betty. Good to see you still hanging out. Whatever happened to uh, the guy who killed him? I'm guessing Satrico killed him, or the um, dude doing Satrico's bidding killed him. I'm half expected to see his mangled corpse somewhere. The key you recovered from Principal Yamagahori's body was for his office door after all. It turns easily and the door swings open. I see a purple thing. Oof! What is going on in this room? I didn't mean for it to happen. It was just a temporary lapse in judgement. She's the one at fault. She clearly overreacted to the situation. Dude, fuck off. <laughs> I'm cold. Look at all the papers on the walls in here. There's definitely something off about this place. Well, they did say the principal suffered from some sort of mental collapse before he died. Right? Yeah, no, she's not. What is this purple thing? Can I... I can't... Do I have to go... Yeah, there's a little hatch there. What is this? What is it? What is it? What is it? There's a small hemp bag in the desk drawer, absolutely slathered with blood. Oh, I reckon, I remember what was in these bags. Big brother, whose tongue is it? I have a bad feeling about this. Yuka, don't look. A human tongue, yeah, sits at the bottom of the bag, all dried up and stiffened with age. What? What is it? Goes on. Is this him digging the body? I'm guessing this is supposed to be him digging the. Yeah. Every night, every single night, the same dream. I deeply regret what I did. I can't even truly express how ashamed I am. But how much are you going to make me suffer for it? <laughs> oh, I understand. I get it. You're not really dead. You're just pretending. <laughs> but think of the position you're putting me in. I can't allow you to tell another living soul about what I did to you. 
So I'm afraid I'm going to have to fix it so you can't ever say another word again. So it's Sachiko's tongue, or is it the mother's tongue? It would be Sachiko's tongue. You like that? You like that? You like that? If I ever see you in my dreams again, I'll be back. I'll kill you as many times as it takes. Satoshi! Satoshi! Big brother! Are you okay? You suddenly stopped talking and neither one of us could get any response out of you. Yeah, I'm okay. I was just watching some unpleasant memories unfold. Huh? Inside this bag is Sachiko's tongue. What? After the principal lost his mind, he decided he couldn't have Sachiko squealing on him to anyone. So he dug up her body and cut off her tongue. That's barbaric. I think we should give this back to her. I'm sure she must be looking for it. Give it to Sachiko. It's acquired Sachiko's tongue. What is this? It's a little... For your tomorrow I pray, I pray for a brave future. What do I... Whoa, it's a secret passage. Oh, there's a ladder. Big brother, I don't like it. It's got those charms of protection all over it. Yeah, but that means the principal was deathly afraid of whatever's down there. We should check it out. What? I'll go first. Naomi and Yuka, you come down afterwards. Big brother, be careful, Satoshi. I will. Where she was buried, I'm guessing. An underground tunnel system. Who would have thought there'd have been something like this beneath the school? Big brother, I have to pee again. Yuka! <laughs> Yuka, can you hold it? I'm not even going to mean it. I'm not even going to... No, I'm just going to move on from that. Ooh. Lovely. Ugh. What the hell? All these heads just lined up like prizes. God. These don't look particularly old either. I think they're victims of the curse who got trapped here. Just like us. What kind of sick person would take the time to line them up so neatly? Maybe someone obsessive compulsive? Someone who takes pride in his collection. Not someone I'd want to meet, that's for sure. What was down here? Nothing. I think I recognise this door. Remember? The one with all the protective charms on it? This is the basement access from the main building. Oh, okay. Can I get through there? I'd like that save point. Oh yeah, the door we could never open. Guess we finally get to see what's on the other side of it. But wait, that means... If we keep going this way, won't we end up in the place where Sachiko killed those three children? Yeah, and where Sachiko's body is buried too. How will we figure out which room it is? The murderer, or rather the man who kidnapped the three children, supposedly hanged himself in the same room. So if we can find any evidence of his death, we'll know we're in the right place. And what an awful place it is. I want to... Is there anyone more up this way? No, just more bodies. Oh! Uh, I don't know if I can trust you! Oh Christ, I've got to follow that, don't I? Okay, up to... This way... This way, straight up. Did I have to do that? I don't know. Dear Shiho, stay strong no matter what happens, no matter what you see, what, what you may see, never lose that immovable will of yours. Fight the darkening. Don't let it take over you. Don't let it take you over. If you can beat it, 
then you can beat fate itself. Pretty ominous message. Doesn't bode well for us. No, what that cutscene? <gasps> Who are you? Wait, you're the cameraman. There's no way he survived. I don't trust this. At the, I don't trust this at all. This guy. No, I don't trust this. Wait, people? Come again? I, uh, um, you. Here, you drop this. Uh, uh. What? I don't believe for a single second he's still alive. What just happened? I have no idea. He just looked at my face and then he... Come on. We should make our way through here as quickly as we can. Weird things seem to be the norm down in these tunnels. Alright, okay. Oh. An action lever. Cool. Where's that? Oh. Okay, let's go down here then. Another lever. Cool. Do we go this way now? Okay, we're going to click, we'll click on this way. So we're looking for levers. What do you know? Another lever. How coincidental. So I, I feel like we're not that far away from the end of the game. About bloody time, you ask me. I've been taking way too long getting through this. There's a part of me that thinks that I should be remembering this, but... A save point! Yes, that's what I want to see. Get me to that save point now. Alright, let's go. Oh shit. Um Okay, so it's right all at the end. Then it was up, then it was left. Uh three hours later. Cause she went down and up the head. Did she go left? That answers that question, am I dead? Go up the stairs. Oh! Oh, so I get another crack at it. Oh, okay. Oh, I don't feel so bad then. I thought I was going to say, oh, so it was right, up, left, up, right, up, left, down, left, down, left, up. So it was right, up, left, up, right, up, left, down, left. God damn it. This seems, I don't know why you can't go up the stairs. This seems oddly forgiving compared to every other trap and things I've had to deal with. Two, one. Two, one, two, one, two, one, one, one. That's why I went, isn't it? Is that what I did? Two up, 
two up. I did that. Oh, it works now. Wait, is that what I did? And it was all the way up. Okay, whatever. <laughs> oh, wait. This is the. Okay, we're going this way then. Dissection room. Well, that sounds lovely. What is this place? The smell is absolutely overpowering. You okay, Yuka? Oh, bladder of steel, Yuka. That's a, lot, that's a lot of blood. What the hell is this room? What was it used for? The table sure does have a lot of blood stains on it. Ooh, pile of bones. Nana Ogasawara. Somebody hiding in the cupboard. The table is covered in basic metal tools that seem to have been used in human remains. There's a rusty saw, a hammer, and several more custom items. There's something hiding in here. There's a large wardrobe here, big enough to fit a human being that's currently empty. Okay. Whatever's in the sink, it smells rancid and looks to be both juicy and chunky in equal measure. Soup. Clearly it's soup. Um, okay, you don't want to talk. Okay, oh, that's upright. That's why it's not. Okay, you're not talking. Nothing in there. Grotesque hunks of red and yellow meat that have been crammed into the bucket. It's so full the meat's juices are dripping over the sides. Oh, lovely. Um, is that it? Not really much else I can do. We just this is one of these things or some. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Someone's coming. Is it the big dude? What do we do? The footsteps are getting closer. Onto the table quickly. Won't we be found right away? There's no place else we can all hide. Come on. The cupboard. Is it the big dude? No, it's the Gucci. He's hiding in the cupboard, isn't he? Oh. Naomi, hang in there. How is the camera? Oh. Hey. Um. How's it going? Lovely. Well, you're looking well. Yeah, the Gucci. You gonna die? Break the. I think he's gone. Naomi, are you all right? Naomi, where? Where the hell is that bastard taking Seiko? Seiko, that was her name. Wait, Naomi. She's been through enough as it is. I can't just let this go on. Wait, please, don't run off by yourself, Naomi. Oh dear, damn it. Yuka, come on, stay right by my side. It's a safe bet she's following this trail of blood. Let's try to catch up with her. Do I want to do this? Is this what I really want to do? It stops here. Oh dear. Huh? 
a trail of blood from Shinohara's body. It stops here. But why? And we're at a save point. I'm always back that way. Do I need to follow the... I mean, yeah, okay, follow the trail of blood. That's that's all well and dandy. What's this way? Ah! Okay, let's go back to following the blurred. Undone by the blood. Uh, okay, was it east or west? I need to go. Eeny, meeny, miny, let's go. This way, I don't know. Does it make a difference? It probably doesn't even make a difference. Yeah, you me. You ain't dead. What the? Where? Where's? Oh. Ah, why? Why are there so many bodies? Wait, Kishinuma? Kishinuma, are you here? No, please no. Kishinuma! But his body's not there. Why? Why do I have to be all alone in here? Unless that's a... No, that's a female body. No. No, he couldn't be. Is he... In here with me after all? No! Hey! Don't even think about killing me off just yet. Oomph! No. Hey, buddy. <laughs> You're chilling in the dead bodies. Before I realised that, I got stuck going down a different chute. I almost wound up in the pool. That would have been a real pain in the ass. You okay, Shinazaki? Let's go explore the bodies. Female students, Sayaka Ue. Kotome Nashimoto. Masayuki Hayashi Ken Fuji Tsutaya something or other, I didn't catch that, Azuma Ryoto Kumakawa Hinata Oin Kaori Hasegawa Kaori Hasegawa Hmm. Izuru Okami. Yuki Sakakibara. I don't know if these are corpses or people I've already sort of seen or heard talk to, their spirits or what have you. Marina Okada. Alright, well, that was a lovely, lovely place to catch up with everyone. Oh. Everybody's together. I should be speaking, I'm not saying anything. You two okay? You're out of breath. Naomi. Naomi went after this monster that took Shinohara's body and she got separated from us. Nakashima is missing? It's Yui too. God. It's it's all my fault. Be strong, remember? Those were Miss Yui's last words. So we have to do what she says and get out of here alive, okay? Right. Right? Miss Yui. You know, I can't even think of her with anything but a smile on her face. No matter what we were going through, Miss Yui's always been there for us. She's been rooting for us since the very start. I'm sure she still is. Come on, we have to do this for Miss Yui. Let's not worry her anymore. Ah, uh, do I keep going north? Naomi, please be okay. Seiko? Seiko, where are you? I won't let them hurt you anymore. Uh, I'll protect you. She dead. No, oh, TV. What's on the old gobble box then? Ayumi, oh. Tis yourself. Ayuki, you're here. Does this mean you still have control over your will? Ayumi, don't give in. You've been stricken with the darkening. Its effects are beginning to take hold of you. There's still time to stop it, but you must hurry. She's here, just beyond the next room. Whether or not you'll be able to return to your own world depends entirely on her. Go, quickly. 
Wait. What about Naomi? We can't leave without her. She's fighting her own demons right now. If she can overcome them, if she's able to resist her own darkening, she'll be along. It should be possible to appease even Sachiko. Make certain you're ready. Ready to fight. I still don't know what the hell is going on in this godforsaken place, but I've come way too far to back down now. I'm in this till the bitter end. We understand. Come on, everyone. Let's do this. Just remember, the way out lies with Sachiko. You must find a way to get through to her, to touch her heart. Oh, we saving, and I think we're going to leave this episode right there. Looks like we're almost home dry. What can possibly go wrong? Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Remember, always keep it, keep it heavy, and I will see you all in the next episode. <laughs>